Hello, I'm Septasauri. I'm Septa. I'm Sore, and this is us. And today we're checking out The Contract by Person. Uh, we checked out Person a little while ago. <laughs> Sounds amazing. We, and ch- we checked out a person. <laughs> yeah, we did. Together. Uh, we all did it together. <laughs> yeah. The same person. We started with Leaning on a Bear, which is cool because then like the video lent itself to us discovering who slash what person is. is. Yeah, we didn't realize. I thought they just spelt it differently to be cool and different. Yeah, I didn't realize that it was a reference to a demon, which is really dope. It's really cool, yeah. <laughs> a demon is like what a is bear it? with a, a lion's head. No, it's right? a it's a lion man. It's like a man with a lion's yes, head that rides a that bear. That rides a bear. Which is sick. Yeah. It is awesome. Um and thank you to the fans of Person that checked out the original reaction and gave us some suggestions. So we are going to check out the contract. Thanks to you lovely people and we hope that you enjoy and give us some more feedback on other Person songs or just other songs in general that you think we would enjoy even by other artists. We're here to hear new music that we would not normally stumble upon. Right. I'm really excited because I really liked Leaning on a Bear quite a bit. Yeah. It was, it was, uh, it wasn't quite in our like wheelhouse. And I liked that. It kind of took me, like we were saying, out of like our comfort zone. I don't know, comfort zone, but it just, it was something that we wouldn't really pick up ourselves. Yeah. So it was really nice to check out. So I'm really excited to check this out too. Exactly. And then it just grew on me more and more as we heard it through like editing and finalization of the video and it just it just got better every time so yeah. i'm excited to hear more yeah is that the is that the bass tone that is dirty yes it is i like it it's real nice She's got like really hardcore eyes. Yeah, I like her look. So gross. Though. I know. I'm wondering what that was. I don't know what it was, but it looked disgusting. Yes, it did. Ooh, nice. I also liked the, the addition of like that acoustic guitar on top of everything there. Yeah, that's pretty tasty. Dude, I, I still bet really like that, that bass line. line would be so fun to play. Yeah. I thought we were going to get a full split like that. I was like, that is crazy. She's so pretty. Even without her skull.
Yeah, that was a vibe. That was really cool. Yeah. I like that go, quite a bit. Like the run that she did vocally on Go was so fun yeah. and catchy. I know I'm going to catch myself singing that. Mm-hmm. And this video made me feel like I was about to watch a James Bond movie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I definitely see that. I definitely, it seemed definitely like a like a mysterious had like a mysterious vibe yeah, to it. Yeah, and then you like know? with like the cool colors and then like yeah. the like the figures of people like sliding across the screen yes. with it, you know. There's the is like that was the, the intro into the movie. Yes. There should all all you needed was a uh, James Bond himself. Yes. Somewhere in he there. He just needed to pop up in the front of the screen Make for a her, second. Make her she yeah. should she should have been James Bond. <gasps> yeah. That been sick. But I agree. change out the it, hat really quick. <laughs> <laughs> super fast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I agree. That was um, I really like that, and it took me a minute that that bass was holding down a lot of it, and then you had like the keys, and there's the acoustic, and then she was also playing, but mm-hmm. I couldn't figure out what she was playing. I couldn't figure out what line she was playing. Either. I know what she was. I figured it out though. She was doing like that modulated, like wavy. Oh. <laughs> That was the guitar. Oh. She just made the guitar tone like super modulated, and, like kind of wavy. I know there's like a a technical term for it, but I can't think of what it is. Um, it was just like some cool effects on the guitar, I and I was like, "That's see. really cool because it it was that was just kind of like a little garnish on top, and mm-hmm. then the rest of the band was holding it down. Yeah, while she was doing that, and then also she was doing her vocals, and I was like, "That's just." I just loved it. All the layering. And then I was like, hmm, what are you going to do with that? And then it was it was layered in so well that I didn't even realize what it was. That it was there For like the first, first half of the song. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, with the vocal line, I was a little nervous that the song would sound exactly like the other one. Mm-hmm. Like, that's just what happens sometimes with like more vibey bands. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of the songs sound the same. But she didn't let that happen. Yeah. She changed it up on the chorus quite a bit. And then um, throughout the song, she changed the vocal line even more to keep it moving and different and interesting. So it wasn't just repetitive. Yeah. It was repetitive, like enough to be catchy. Yes. But to stick with you. Yes. But, but she changes still kept it, it enough different. to catch your attention. Yes. And they made sure to really do a good change up at the end. Which I appreciate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That just makes it like so much bigger. And I love that. I agree. I thought that was good. It was. I'm so happy. I don't know who produces their albums or anything like that, but uh, it was produced really well. All the, like everything was layered really nicely. Uh, I felt like no matter what you were li- trying to hear and listen to, you could hear you it. You could as hear As long it. as you were like focusing on it, like it had a taste of everything in there, which uh, sometimes when you have, when it's so ambient and, and vibey, things start to kind of mix together Muddy. too much mm-hmm. or you, or you try to separate them, but then you separate them too much and then it doesn't, it's not cohesive. Mm-hmm. So uh, like amazing job um, to who does, whoever does the production or did the production yeah. uh, for these songs. Cause they sound very good. Yeah. Agreed. And um, we have since learned that the group is no more. Right. But um, the vocalist has a solo project that is still ongoing. So after we check out some more person, maybe we'll check out some of her solo stuff and see how that translates artistically. Uh, It's always really cool to hear how much of like a sound contribution one person had. To see if it carries over to the other project or if it's completely different on a different project just because it's a different group of people. So I'm excited for that, too. So if you guys um, have any more recommendations for like what person song we should listen to, then let us know. I'd like to check out more. Or if you want us to check out some of her solo stuff, then let us know that as well. Let us know what you think about the song. Yeah. Did you like the vibe? Also, did it make you feel like you were going to watch a James Bond movie? Or is that just us? If you made it this far, please start liking, subscribing, and hitting that bell. We have tons of other reactions. If you want to check those out, we have a Patreon if you want to support us over there. And we have a, another channel called Scepter and Soar where we talk about whatever we want. And we hope to be posting some gaming content over there sometime soon. Until next time. 
Always remember that we love you. Stay safe and healthy. We'll see you in the next video. Bye, Septasauri. Bye.